Arsenal Fan TV, DT, very disappointing tonight. <laughs> I didn't want to ask you how you feel. I know how everyone around here feels at the moment. It's a massive opportunity miss. I mean, I don't know the final score in the Chelsea-Liverpool game. Was it? Did it end up 1-1? Yeah. So it ended up 1-1. So, so points dropped there. Tottenham dropped points. I mean, the opportunity was wide open there for us tonight to make up some ground on the leaders, to push a bit away from the, play, the, the teams that are... Uh, you know, after us, and we blew it again. Welcome to the same old Arsenal, Robbie. It's the same. Same. Every single season. You wonder why I pull out banners? I've told you. I've told everyone I don't want to be right. I don't want to be right. I've told you I want to be proved wrong. But I know I'm right. What went wrong today? Team selection. Round of applause to Arsene Wenger for the team selection. Yeah, well done. Let's take the whole pace out of the team that tore Southampton apart. Well done. He was always going to rest, though. No, 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 no. Listen, he rested no, a... Robbie, listen. Tonight, he rested I'm a not, lot of players. I'm not listening to no fence-sitting, no bullshit. No, this listen, is... Listen, a... hey, shut the fuck up a minute, yeah? Seriously, shut the fuck up tonight. I'm not in no mood for no little dickheads chatting shit right behind my fucking head. Shut the fuck up, right? And don't cut that out either, because I say exactly how I see it, right? No bullshit, Robbie. Why was Danny Welbeck taken out the squad completely? No. Wait, Phil Walcott scores a hat-trick... And then he's on the bench. He done the same thing to Lucas Perez when he scored a hat trick in the Champions League. What does Lucas Perez have to do to start a game? Every single time. You've got your first choice right back fit. And he's on the bench. For Bambi. Yeah, well done. Well done, smart ass. Same every season, Robbie. Why are people surprised? I'm not fence sitting now. Now this is a this is a this is a fax now, right? Or well. well. I feel that the reason why he probably didn't um, include those players is because he obviously rested all of these players at the weekend no. and he's rested these players to play this game. No. Now, tonight, they were always going to start, weren't important. they? Tonight was more important than Saturday. You do the job at hand, the first game that comes around. You don't no, I'm not on about and, Saturday no, no, coming. No, but this, I'm no, on about I'm those players were rested at the weekend for today. So they've played today, haven't but, they? You look at the performance on Saturday, you've got to look at that and go, do you know what? Yes, I had this in mind. This is what management's all about. But what and if you tactics. bring Danny Welbeck back and he breaks down? That's or you bring Walker it, back and he breaks down? And then, you, you know, yeah. everybody would be criticised and saying, Robbie. why did you rush him back? I remember last season. Robbie, they were, Robbie. Oh, hold no, on no, a second. No, no, last season, it. a lot no, of people no, say no, we no, overplayed no, Alexis. No, no. listen. If, listen, Robbie, right? If my auntie had a dick, she would be my uncle. If buts, maybes. I'm not listening to this. Oh, Walcott comes back, he might be injured, or he gets injured, or he gets injured. I don't give a fuck. Well, he gets criticised for not managing oh the players, doesn't he? Listen, Robbie, Robbie, listen, right? The players, All the time I hear players, fans criticising him. this every single time? Let me talk. Please, I'm begging you, yeah? You, listen, we're mates, right? But right now, yeah, let me fucking talk, Robbie, yeah? Because at the end of the day, right, what happens every single time, yeah? You look at it, game management. He looks at it and he says, you know what, Walcott scored a hat-trick. I'm not going to take him out of the team because he's firing. He's going to be so pumped up, ready for Tuesday. Bang. Carry it on. Get the momentum. You look at Oxley chamberlain in the middle and you sit there and you go, do you know what? I'm going to have to start him in this game because he was so impressive in that game. There's certain players, things happen. Yes, you do plan with tonight in mind by resting certain players. But then things happened in the game against Southampton that make you change your mind. And make you say, you know what? I do have to change this. What did I say to you on Saturday? Look how different we are with pace. What happens when Giroud's up front? How can a guy so slow be offside so much? How does he possibly beat the offside trap? He's so slow. And the best thing, he done one in the first half and he's looking across the line. How can you not see that you're offside when you're looking across the line, Robbie? All right, let me ask it's you the this. Same. Let me ask you this. When you came to the game today and you saw the team that had been selected for the game tonight, did you think that team is not good enough to beat Watford? Go, go and have a look at my tweet the moment I heard the team selection. Watch my vlog and look at my reaction the moment I heard the team no, selection. No, not your reaction. No. I'm asking you a question. Did you think when you saw that team that that team is not good enough to beat Watford. Do you know what? They should be good enough, but I was still worried because I was worried that there was no pace. The whole pace was there. You know what teams like Watford will do? They're not going to come to the Emirates and try and play like Barcelona and start playing amazing football and then we can counter them and whatnot. You know that they're going to sit deep. 
yeah? And the one thing we need is pacing around. You've got lumps like Yunus Kabul in centre defence. It's food and drink to him, Robbie, putting the ball up to Giroud. So you're playing and around him. When the pro what happened at the start of the second half? The problem started as soon as there was pace within the team. It's the same every single year. How many times do we have to keep coming on here and saying the same thing? I understand there's people singing Wenger out, Wenger out, okay? But half of the people singing Wenger out will also be praising him if we win on Saturday. Yeah, and sitting there licking his ass. No, you were praising. You, listen, it, it, whoa, was all, it was all down to Steve Bold at the weekend, it, wasn't it? Yeah, Robbie, listen. No, to hold on, no, it was. No, no. It was all down to Steve Bold. I'm going to answer this one as well, right? No, because but it was, you, no, wasn't no, it? No, because you're deceiving with your titles, yeah? You turned around and asked me about Steve Bold. And I sat there and laughed and went, yeah, of course it's about Steve Bold. And then I turned around and went, nah, 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 nah. Arson picked the team. It's right. down to him and whatnot, yeah? I was having a bit of, bit of banter, tongue in cheek. And you know that, yeah? Arson, he's not, it's not a stadium ban, so he's still actively a part of everything. He's still in there before the game, he's still in there after the game. If anything, sitting up where he is, he should have a better view of what's actually happening on the pitch. But yet he couldn't see it. Yes, there was changes at half-time, but that, the damage was done. Too little, Let's, too late. Right, weekend's coming. Oh, yes, great. <laughs> whoopie do. The weekend's coming. Now it's a must-win. It's a must-win. If the changes are made that you'd like to see, well, uh, I'm being honest with you, I'd like to see. We, we've discussed it before. I want to see yeah. pace up front. If those changes are made, do you think this team has it in them to go to Stamford Bridge and beat Chelsea? You know what, Robbie? We've got, it, we've got it in us to beat anyone. But we've also got it in us to do that. It's very Arsenal to beat Chelsea on Saturday and then lose a week later to Hull. It's very Arsenal to go to the Allianz and beat Bayern Munich and then lose to Sutton United three days later. That is what we're dealing with. It's here. Mentality. I've no doubt that the talent's there. We need a few little tweaks here and there. I'm not getting into the whole debate of the tran January transfer window because you're not going to get that kind of quality to improve the squad right now. So that I agree on. Yeah, But there's little tweaks. And I feel the main part of all of it is the manager. Okay. Do I believe that a different manager would get more out of that team? Yes, I do. Do I believe a different manager would really make us challenge for the title and go further than the last 16 of the Champions League? Yes, I do. The ingredients are there. The team's there. I'm not denying, Arsene's built the squad, but he's come to the point, point in his career now where it's done. He's finished, Robbie. He can't take them no further. It's like trying to hang on to your relationship, your marriage, when you know it's dead. You know your missus is cheating, but you still stay there. Do you know what I mean? And that's what it's like. You know that his time is done. You know it's finished, Robbie. But there's so many deluded people that hang on because they hang on to the invincibles and they hang on to the good times. Well, wake up, it's 2017. I don't want this no more. I come to this club and I watch Arsenal because I love them. But at the end of it, I want to see something. I want to see something. If we put everything in, I know we're not going to win every game, but if we put everything in and if at the end of the season we lost, you know, you know like when Man City won the league with that Aguero thing, Man United lost on goal difference and stuff like that. Sometimes you have to take them ones on the chin. You can't blame your team. You can't really say, well, you should have scored four, five more goals, blah, blah, blah. But when you're losing titles by 10, 15 points season after season and you're not in a title race, you've got to, a right to moan. When you're paying the money we are as fans, and you're, you've got to think of all the promises as well, Robbie. What happened to the 2015? You're going to be on the level with Bayern Munich. We're miles away. And like I said, we could probably go to the Allianz and beat them. Doesn't mean we're on a level with Bayern Munich, does it? Just means on that game, we were better than them on that day. We go to Saturday. We'll be there. We'll make noise. More than these boring fucks in there tonight. Same again, Robbie. How much? Seriously, man. We can sit in our podcast after podcast after podcast and moan and moan and moan and moan. But it isn't going to change until the club help us. Until the club actually turn around and say, do you know what? We need to actually be ruthless. This section, I don't care if you fucking sit there. You're not singing, you're out. This is the singing section. We're putting the real fans that want to sing there. Yeah? And the club need to do that. And if the club, if the club have to compensate some of the fans to move them so what they get enough fucking money out of us don't they 
three cuts a year, all the rest of it. There you go.